Hey guys, Dane here from Moving to Canada. Super exciting news. We have actually just touched down a couple of hours ago and landed in the Canadian city of Vancouver, British Columbia, right on the west coast of Canada. So what we're gonna be doing for you is taking you around the city over the course of the next day and showing you the eight things that you need to know before moving to Vancouver. So come with us, it's gonna be an awesome day and we're gonna show you all around this beautiful city that is bordering the Pacific Ocean. Welcome to Canada Place, right at the heart of downtown at the port of Vancouver. You can see why Vancouver is known as one of the most beautiful places in Canada. With the mountains, meeting the water, meeting all of these parks, there's a lot of spaces for you to get out and enjoy. And that brings me to the first thing that you need to know about if you're considering moving to Vancouver, the climate. At the time that we're filming this video, it is the middle of January, which is one of the coldest times of the year in Canada. As you can see, I am just wearing a light coat and a hoodie, and it's not that chilly out, so just this many layers are keeping me totally warm. Definitely warm enough so that I have the heat and the energy to go and explore that West Coast living. The second thing that you need to know if you're considering moving to Vancouver is about accommodation and the cost of living. So right now we are in the lovely little neighborhood of Kitsilano. Uh, it's just outside of the downtown core and before you get to the University of British Columbia, so it's still pretty central. But you need to know that Vancouver is one of the more expensive cities to live in Canada. If you are a single person, you get a one bedroom apartment that you're renting in the city center, that's going to cost you upwards of $2,000 per month. If you're outside of the city center, that same apartment's gonna cost you upwards of $1,600 per month. That's way above the monthly average cost across Canada. Now, if you're getting a three bedroom apartment, that's gonna cost you $3,700 in the city center and $2,700 outside of the city center. So make sure if you are considering living in Vancouver that you take that into account before you plan your move. We're gonna be going all over the city of Vancouver today, which gives us a great opportunity to tell you about the third thing that you need to know if you're considering moving to Vancouver. And that's your public transit options. Vancouver is actually one of the most accessible cities in Canada when it comes to public transit. You have a ton of different public transit options, and honestly, Vancouver has some of the sickest names for their public transit. Right now, we are waiting for the Sky Train, which is a train that goes through the sky, and they also have a sea bus, which is a bus that goes on the sea, and they also have, uh, well, just a regular bus. Pricing for Vancouver's public transit system is based on zone. The entire city is divided up into three zones. You've got zone one, the city center, zone two is a little bit outside of that, and zone three is a little bit further than that. If you're traveling within zone one, it's gonna cost you three bucks for a single pass or $98 for a monthly pass. If you're traveling in zone three, which is the furthest zone, that's gonna set you back 575 for a single pass or 177 bucks for your monthly pass. Now, public transit isn't the only way to get around in Vancouver. Though it is convenient, a lot of people do opt instead to walk, to use a regular car, or a ton of people in Vancouver also like to cycle. Vancouver is one of the friendliest cities in Canada when it comes to cycling. The fourth thing that you need to know if you're thinking about moving to Vancouver is what are your job and employment opportunities? Thankfully, as one of Canada's biggest cities, Vancouver has a range of employment opportunities across a range of different industries and professions. Some of the most popular industries in Vancouver are construction uh, and also tech. BC is a bustling tech hub in Canada, so much so that British Columbia has actually established a segment of their provincial nominee program that siphons new immigrants in who are in tech occupations. It's called the BC PNP Tech Pilot, and they're targeting people with experience in one of 29 tech occupations. The fifth thing that we wanted to talk to you about was access to education in Vancouver. And we thought there is no better place to do that than at UBC. UBC, or the University of British Columbia, is one of the largest universities in Canada. And it consistently ranks as one of the top three schools in the country. And UBC really exemplifies the kind of educational offerings that are available in the city of Vancouver. 
If you are considering international studies in Canada, one thing to keep in mind is the cost of tuition. UBC, for example, is one of the pricier institutions in the country. When it comes to tuition, it's calculated based on whether you are a domestic student, that means you're a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, or if you're an international student. For UBC, a Bachelor's of Science for this year, that's 2019-2020, is going to cost you on average $5,400 if you're a domestic student or $39,000 if you're an international student. So you really have to consider that cost when you come in for international studies. However, the perks of an institution like UBC is that it offers tons of high quality education, high quality programming in a range of disciplines. Everything from arts, science, computer science, nursing, they've got it all. But whether you're studying in Canada or whether you're working in Canada, if you're in Vancouver, one of the perks is what you can do in your downtime. The sixth thing that you have to know if you are considering moving to Vancouver is that Vancouver is the fittest city in Canada with a ton of access to nature and outdoor activities. And there is no place that better exemplifies that than the place that we are standing right now, which is Stanley Park. Stanley Park is a massive green space located right in the heart of Vancouver. And in Stanley Park, there's the space to do tons of different activities from walking, running, hiking, swimming, and also a ton of sights to see. The seawall, the totem poles, the Lionsgate Bridge, and a random guy doing yoga with a bunch of Canadian geese. Guys, warrior one. The seventh thing that you need to know if you are considering moving to Vancouver is that Vancouver is one of the most culturally diverse cities in Canada. There are people in this city of different nationalities, different linguistic backgrounds, different religions, different sexual orientations. It really is a place where you can find your own community, whatever that community may be. In fact, according to the 2016 census, the population of Vancouver was sitting at about 2.5 million, and that includes the surrounding area. Of that, 1 million of that population is first generation immigrants. That's 40% of the population of Vancouver are first generation immigrants. And to showcase that, we brought you right downtown, right in the heart of downtown Vancouver, where on this city block alone, just on this block, there is a Korean place, there is a Hawaiian place, a Middle Eastern place, a Malaysian place, a Japanese place, there's an Italian place right across the street, and just up the block there, I can see a Ukrainian place. So that's all in just one city block radius here in downtown Vancouver. So it really is a place with a ton of different cultures, a ton of different communities, and we are gonna check out one of these places. We're gonna check out something that I'm super excited about because it's something that we really get great quality of in Vancouver. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, so the eighth and final thing that you need to know if you're thinking about moving to Vancouver is that Vancouver is foodie heaven. If you like to eat, this is the city for you. There's so many different places to eat, and as you just heard from so many different cultures, so many different nationalities. Uh, right now we are at Yamato Sushi, right in downtown Vancouver. I am amped for this because Vancouver is known for having amazing sushi that we don't get back where I'm from on the East Coast. So we've had a long day of filming. We are getting ready to chow down. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the likes button. And if you want more content like this, if you want to learn about the other cities as we come up with videos on those, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.